Hi, I'm Adam Sellers, partner here at MCA Accountants. I've been in the game for around 20 years now. In that time, I've had lots of conversations with business owners, all shapes and sizes, all industries, from startups that turn over a couple of thousand dollars to multi-generational, multi-million dollar turnover businesses. I find that in that time, having conversations with business owners, there's some common themes and common, common misunderstandings or just no understandings at all that happen no matter what the size. It doesn't matter whether you're a startup, it doesn't matter whether you've been in business for 20 years. There are some really simple things that business owners don't understand as well as they should or don't understand at all. And it's really important that they do. Now at the moment, we've got high inflation. We've got the Victorian government cutting jobs. There are large employees out there cutting jobs. It's a little bit uncertain. So we want to make sure that your business gets through what could be some rough times ahead. So there are five really simple things, but they center around cash flow. You've all heard the term cash is king. Well, it's cash flow is king right now. At the end of the day, most businesses fail because they just run out of cash. They don't have the cash flow. So we're going to help you make sure that you can see things before they're happening, things you can measure, things you can improve on, to make sure that your cash flow is as good as it can be, but also so that if your cash flow is dwindling, you'll be able to see it. Number one is your break even. What's the minimum level of sales that you need to do every month to make sure you don't lose money? Number two is finding out what is the most important thing you can measure in your business to make sure you are achieving your break even or achieving your goals, whatever the case may be. It might be sales, it might not. Number three, is making sure you put money aside for taxes and superannuation. Superannuation is not your money, it's your employees. Highly, highly important that you pay that, if for nothing else, to make sure you keep your employees. But you need to budget for it, you need to put it aside. Number four is understanding your lockup. And your lockup is the amount of money and how long that money is tied up for in your products and services from when you start buying them, paying for them, whatever it is to actually selling them and getting paid for the sale. And number five is understanding the difference between cash and profit. They are linked, but they are different. You could have cash, but be not profitable and vice versa. You could not have cash, but be profitable. You need to understand the difference so then you can work out what's going wrong if something is going wrong, or you can see the writing on the wall before it's too late. There you go, five really simple tips. We'll expand on those in future videos with a little bit of luck, a little bit of editing, hopefully there will be a link to those at the end of this end of this video. But if there's not, you can go to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to find them there. www.mcaaccountants.com.au forward slash YouTube.